how to get a living ship the new fast and easy way this video is a step-by-step -step guide to the complete starbirth mission with the best tips and tricks that i know of to unlocking a living ship and to get the living ship that you want Hey everyone, this is Kubo and today I want to show you that with the expeditions update things have changed for the better and that's why I'm here to show you how. So let's get started. It will be the best as well if you leave a like and if you haven't yet subscribe for more. Don't forget to ring that little bell and let's dive right into it. Step 1 Preparations Find a portal, place a base computer, a safe beacon and a teleporter. That will come in handy later. Also, you will need all your 16 glyphs to complete this mission. A guide to help you with that is in the description up top and below. So watch it and come back real quick. Okay, the next step is to get your hands on a void egg. Let's land. There's two ways of doing that. So let's hop on to the anomaly. I want to show you that it works. The first one is, of course, you can grind a couple of missions that gives you Quicksilver. The daily ones are 250 each one. The weekend event gives you 1200. So you can get that in a week. But as you can see, there's a lot of things you can buy and quicksilver is hard to get so you will want to try the second option as well and save your quicksilver believe it or not this game has an awesome community that likes to help to new players so let's go to the appearance modifier first you want to save your character as a safe return then replace it with the new player character and just go and stand around the nexus and ask for people to give you a void egg <laughs> it could take some time it could take a 10 minutes 20 and half an hour I got it in like five minutes between you and me there's a lot of people that likes to do so most chances you will get it right away just look around to see if you got people around you ask for it as you can see like I do also you can refresh for a new batch of players if you want to try to ask for a different crowd just go inside your network settings and disable your multiplayer for a couple of seconds turn it back on and there will be a different crowd this time we're gonna speed things up a bit and look at that we got 15 void egg much more than I wanted thank you whoever you are for the help so those are the two ways of getting a void egg choose how you want to get it and let's continue okay now that we got a void egg we're gonna need to activate it just store it in your general inventory then pulse around in the vicinity of the space station to get the main mission the starboard ongoing till you get a message to exit pulse and examine the object every system should work fine then answer the call you will see the option to do that in the quick menu we will save the lore for a different time choose continue to listen and you will be directed to a different system a specific destination on the galaxy map you will see the way so you will need to walk there real quick of course there will be a freighter battle when you don't want one <laughs> so let's ignore that it was a purple freighter by the way feel free to use my freighter guide if you want to get that one as an S class and let's continue so follow the direction it leads you and what's new and better in this mission is we don't need to search for the specific chords anymore and that took way long to achieve for some even struggled with it it was a grindy part and not that inviting but now it's much simpler expedition update added a new feature a sweep mode to our visor and it will direct you to where you need to go so that's the easy part just go in the direction it leads you a simple breakdown of the starbirth mission it's a four crafting mission in four different systems you need to find the specific chords each time to get to an ancient plaque and get the blueprint of what you need to craft then craft it after you get the materials needed the first one was easy just to extract the excite at the crashed freighter site then if you got a bit of pugnium and the corvax casing you're set 
craft the part you need then go back to the ancient plaque and insert the part and you will get the first living part out of four a fragile neural stem we will go over that next now the tricky part is every living part you will get is too fragile to use and needs to mature one day give or take so in total you will need to wait four days and that's the time consuming part but what i did and you can do it as well in all platforms Forms is to reset the timer and I went offline mode I changed the time one day ahead and got back in the game made a save got out back again and switched to online mode again got back and it was like I never waited at all so that's what you need to do instead of waiting one day every time just move the clock ahead let's go over the three parts you will need to get and what you will need to get now every time it's says the void egg is humming on a strange frequency a weight contact that means you need to pulse in space till you get an incoming message again then exit pulse and follow to the next destination it gives you then like I showed before warp to the destination search for the next alien plaque using the sweep mode get there get the blueprint this time you will need liquid sun and you will get another blueprint for a solo ray weapon that actually you will need only for this part <laughs> so install it in your multi tool and go for every deposit you see around use that weapon to harvest the liquid sun everything else I think you know how to get by now then craft this part and get back to that ancient plaque get the fragile heart wait a day or do like I showed before and you're ready to move to the next two parts it's getting hot in here <laughs> let's go this time we will need hypnotic eye and living water so let's go swimming look for the abyssal whore with your visor go to it and don't come near too close shoot it in the eye get the eye quick because it disappears quickly we got it now pulse in space till you meet the child of Helios what a sight look at that come close answer the incoming message and take the living water from him be sure to take a screenshot as well this is quite awesome you don't see that every day now we can craft another one to get the fragile shell let's continue to the fourth part and this time you will get another blueprint for a weapon you will need to install the animus beam some say it's powerful and can mine the quickest so i leave you with that if you want to keep it and you will need to get a fragmented koalia by shooting anomaly fauna that is all around as you can see just shoot them quite fun gotta say then after you collected enough craft the part deliver and get the growing singularity okay after everything finished maturing we got all four parts they will look like this and we're all ready for the final part remember when i said in the beginning about the portal base so this is the time to use it and let's go Okay, we're at the portal we're gonna need to enter a set of glyphs and go get the final part the soul chamber and actually those glyphs are written on the void egg in the form of words so as you can see those are the glyphs you will need to enter and you will need to be in the Euclid starter galaxy as well okay let's go Okay, this place is packed with bases it tends to be glitchy so probably it's better to do this part with the multiplayer disabled okay so let's get inside our ship and go to the location that is marked for us and like before we will need to use the sweep mode to guide us to the location we need the first location is an abandoned building approach the terminal and it will give you the soul chamber this needs to be recharged three times at an unknown graves locations to get to a hundred percent once it did you will be asked to return back through the portal now this is the important part listen carefully when you get back through the portal do not enter your ship 
Instead, go and make a manual save. With the save beacon, we placed here in the beginning. So let's do that. And by doing that, we can now control on which living ship we're gonna get. I will show you a couple of examples. All that you need to do is to enter a location through the portal, go there, then get inside your ship and you will be directed to a living ship. On every system, there's multiple choices. So every time you will go even to the same place, you will get a different living ship. So you got infinite choices. You can put any glyph sequence you want. Go there, enter your ship, go and see if you like the ship you see in front of you if you don't you can reload to the menu save get back again here and you can go to a different place every time till you get the one living ship that you are pleased with and when you do find the one you really want all that left to do is to give it all the parts we worked hard for and congratulations you got a new living ship i got mine i'm pretty happy with write to me in the comments which one is your favorite one and that's the best way of getting a living ship just the way you want it i hope this guide was helpful and you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button and subscribe for more and to be notified on the next video hit that little bell hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one bye everyone